Hi, welcome to Inside the Yachting. This is the full length review of Modi Yacht Triple Attraction. It's a beautiful 100 foot Hatteras launched in 2005. And now if you're on YouTube watching this video, then just underneath the screen here is a link over to the Inside the Yachting website. Over there, you'll find all of the great information and all the further things that you'll need uh, about Triple Attraction and about any boat that's currently available on the market. We have what's called a yacht pack already prepared and ready to go for every boat that's currently for sale. And the yacht pack has in it all of the color photographs, the full specifications and all the detailed descriptions along with some pricing analysis and they're available via the website. If you look over on the right hand side, uh, there's a button called the Yacht Pack button. Click on that, leave us your name, the best email address for you, and we'll send it right over. Now, we also do daily yacht tours of all of these boats that are available. So if you're ready to get on board some boats and see what's gonna actually work best for you and get to touch and feel and see all of those uh, features that are best suited to you then below the yacht pack button over on the right hand side is the daily yacht tours click on that leave us your name and uh, your contact details and the best time that's going to work for you to get on board the boat and i'm sure we'll be able to uh, fit you in so let's take a look at triple attraction now there's the uh, profile shot over here fairly uh, standard uh, profile of, of a lot of the hatteresses that, that were built in this um, in this size range. They do have a slightly more modern feel to this with triple attraction with the uh, windows all being sort of butted up to each other. Um, the more classic styles obviously had the, the white, what's called mullions in between the windows, which are the support beams. Now that um, glass is so much more um, of a structural piece within these boats, you can actually use the glass butted up to one another without having to have those divides in there. Uh, so she's 100 feet long. She's launched in 2005. The beam is, is pretty good for this size boat. It's 22 and a half feet. Um, still a fairly shallow draft at six and a half feet as well. When you compare that to some of the other boats that we've reviewed that the overall sort of beam com compared with the length is, is actually quite good and it explains why the interior feels so uh, voluminous and, and roomy as it does. So she's here in South Florida, a very motivated seller. They have her priced right now at $4,595,000. So let's take a look at some of the photographs. So all the way through the the interior, you'll see a, a very similar style to all of the um, interior design. All has this beautiful cherry wood finish to all the cabinetry, the nice detail of the inlay and, and the details in the uh, veneer that they have on top of there. They play with the grains quite nicely throughout the boat. It all feels very open and, and airy in here partly because of the huge windows that surround this room and also because they've used some nice detailing to the ceiling as well. They've put some um, mirrors and reflective surfaces around to make the space feel a lot bigger. An open plan concept, it has the dining room towards the uh, sort of forward end of the salon. It has this nice low bar there as well, which was quite popular with the Hattresses and some of the Christiansons um, did the same thing. They have sort of a, a step down bar. So the person that's behind the bar is actually on a, a lower level than the rest of the salon. The TV that you see there at the top on the uh, right hand side, that's on a, um, on a lift. So when the TV is not being used, that can drop down out of the way. And really a nice, a nice open and, and airy feel to, uh, to all of this room. So now we take a look at some of the exterior areas. We have teak on the main deck aft here. The rest of the boat is the non-skid finish, which is very easy to, to maintain. So a, a nice uh, low sort of maintenance finish to the decks there. But it's nice to have that teak on the sort of high traffic uh, main deck area there. It gives it a bit more of a, a luxurious feel. 
the TV on the bottom on the left, that's a drop down TV that is on that main deck aft. Um, they have lots of the flat screen TVs dotted around the boat that have been uh, upgraded throughout the, throughout the life of the, of the vessel. Up onto the sun deck, now this is where uh, the boat sort of comes into its own. It has these great exterior areas. In fact, the sun deck, as you can see uh, from the main deck shot, the photograph at the top on the left, that flybridge deck is basically the entire length or stretching as far aft as you can come. Um, some of the boats will have sort of a shorter flybridge deck but but this has really made uh, maximum usage out, out of the the space available so drag that top deck all the way back so that it covers all of the uh, aft deck seating there the main deck aft seating so up here we have a jacuzzi top there's um, a nice sunbed there as as well there's some sort of loose furniture the seating and also the the sun lounges Forwards, we have another uh, helm station with all of the the sort of Furuno Garmin equipment, the uh, North Star GPSs that they have on board. And underneath this bimini top, they have some nice um, mirrored sort of seating from one side to the other. Again, a few other shots of the sun deck here. You can see the, the two pilot chairs that you have just in front of the helm station and then that's the uh, sort of full service bar they have fridges ice makers in there and, and a sink as well so a nice um, practical area here it's worth noting that that uh, finish to the sun deck there you can see that that's not actually teak that's sort of a carpeted finish so that can actually be taken up and, and removed and, and washed if necessary so back into the interior, now we have a huge full beam master cabin. A triple attraction actually has five cabins. Now, um, some boats would, would sort of make all of the cabins in the boat a little bit tighter and a little bit smaller in order to fit that fifth cabin in there. But here they've actually converted what's often just sort of a um, a storeroom or, or sometimes a laundry room in some other models of the 100 foot range but here they've they've sort of put in two bunks there's not a great photograph of it here but I will include it in the yacht pack and it really opens the the overall occupancy of the boat up it, it's great for kids maybe if you have nannies or, or a personal trainer you can you can um, put them in that cabin but it's nice to have that that extra space if you do need the extra bunks so here into the master cabin full beam master cabin it's a king size bed en suite they have a huge bathroom again lots of mirrors a very nice um, almost modern feel in in here but it works well with the with the rest of the boat and again that cherry finished cabinetry um, is, is throughout this room as well and you can see the the bathroom in that lower photograph on the right hand side so a couple more photographs of that um, area here they actually have a, the top photograph on the left hand side is again of the master cabin they have the his and her side is split with the shower in the in the middle so you have two separate uh, vanity sinks there as well and then the photograph below that is of the day head which is up on the main deck level over to the right hand side this is the foyer looking aft so the setup of the boat they have the full beam master cabin they have two other double cabins uh, back aft of that in that same sort of lower area they also have that bunk room which is just on the top photograph on the right hand side you can see the door to the right of that photograph so that's where the other two bunks are although there isn't a full uh, photograph of that cabin and then the fifth cabin is up in the bow so out of the five cabins uh, four of them are double rooms the master is a king size bed the other three are all queen beds and then the uh, the bunk and in fact one of those queen beds can be split into another twin as well so um, great 
uh, sort of versatility to the to the cabin layout here and it really lends itself well for chartering or if you've got different groups of, of sort of family members coming on board the boat it, it really works well and it lends that the boat lends its its hand well to, to lots of different uh, user user sort of uh, journeys so the uh, photograph actually on the bottom on the left hand side that is of the the Ford VIP as I mentioned it's a, a queen size bed so a real nice separate uh, separate living space up here and this is again the two photographs on the left hand side there of the that Ford VIP cabin and, and a beautiful bathroom there again as you can see so the lower photograph on the right hand side this is moving into the country style kitchen so it's great to have in a hundred foot boat a five stateroom layout plus this country style kitchen quite often in a boat of this size if you want to have the five staterooms you'll have to sacrifice the country style kitchen for an on deck master um, in order to to be able to work all of the cabin layout but Hatteras have done a great job here in squeezing everything into the one boat and not making anything really feel cramped or like you've been sacrificing space for um, for layout so a beautiful country style kitchen here I love the almost teak feel to the uh, hardwood floors really gives it sort of a, a, a um, country almost ranch style uh, living here and they have that nice center island and then the dining uh, table towards the forward end of the country kitchen and it's the same as a house in that uh, most people spend the majority of their time on a boat in the country kitchen if if the boat has one so it's really a great social area here uh, the raised pilot house remember this is a raised pilot house style so you have that sort of funny in between deck in in the middle in between the main deck and the flybridge deck so that's what you see you see here at the top on the right hand side is that a raised pilot house um, or raised wheelhouse so that has everything in there that that they have up on the flybridge as well as a few other pieces of, of equipment down here as well um, and then again up into the exterior areas we saw some shots of this earlier there's a nice photograph of the jacuzzi has a, a nice size tender and also the jet skis here as well so a really nice a practical flybridge here and, and it's worth noting that once the boat's in use and it's actually out at anchor you can completely clear this deck of all of the toys and the tenders remove the chocks store the chocks underneath that sun pad there that's next to the jacuzzi and then you suddenly have this huge area here for for entertaining another nice point about this boat is that they've actually put the crane and it's a fairly large crane as well it's a, a 2500 nautical structures crane so it can actually lift a, a pretty big size tender but they've put the base for that tender all the way over onto the port side so really once the uh, tenders are in the water and the jet skis and the chocks are off you can swing that crane to the one side and, and you don't really notice it's there with the, some of the older style boats they would put the pivot point for the crane on the center line of the boat which of course once you have all the tenders and toys in the water you're still stuck with this huge crane in the middle of that deck that you can't really do with so it would break up the the usability of, of that uh, that deck but here they've got it off to one side so um, a great great layout um, up on the bow they have this nice seating area on some boats they put a little jacuzzi up here but really it's so far detached from the rest of the boat that it's actually quite nice when people are up here it's generally because they want to be as far away from everyone else on the boat as possible so it's nice that here they actually have somewhere to sit down rather than sitting on the anchor winch so nice uh, nice area there so the other thing about this boat that um, that works really well is that they have the crew area completely separate from the rest of the guest areas so it's aft of the engine room the crew have their own entry and exit to this area they have their own little crew mess down here um, so it's nice really works well having that completely separate it means that for a, an owner that prefers more of a service orientated 
um, boat that that there isn't too much interaction with the with the crew when they're uh, when they're not tending to the guests. So it's nice that they have their own little little area. So last couple of shots here of the swim platform. Nice big swim platform. Obviously the um, the stainless steel rails there will pop up and can be stored when the boats are anchor so it's real easy to get in and out of the water and uh, nice that it has the large walkways up either side of that aft deck there it gives it more of a sort of grand feeling to the to the boat so here's the the layout that we can see um i'll draw your attention towards the right hand side drawing there which is the lower decks aft of that you can see the uh, crew area that's the entire crew area sort of contained to that aft uh, section of the boat center where it's blank there is the engine room then at forwards we have our two double cabins those two queens you can't quite see that bunk room on this drawing but it's on the the left hand side of that um, of that layout there it's just underneath the staircase comes down the 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 port side of the of the sort of side of the hole there so it's it's sort of tucked away under that and then forwards of that is the master cabin and forwards of that again is actually that forward vip which you access through the country kitchen so um that should clear up <laughs> if you're confused about the layout that should that should uh Go towards clearing it up but once you're on board the boat and we do um, include triple attraction in, in some of our daily yacht tours for the people that are interested in, in um, 100 foot boats of this of this um, sort of age range and and she really is a fantastic boat for the price remember she's priced at just under five million dollars um, fantastic value here four million five hundred and ninety five thousand dollars so looking into the specs here we see she has the mtu engines um, about average uses on the on the hours there three thousand two hundred for a boat that's uh, eight years old now a hundred foot in length 22 and a half feet is the beam which explains some of the uh, sort of feeling of volume throughout the boat and a nice shallow draft at six and a half feet. The fuel capacity here is is a slightly above average, I would say, which gives her quite a nice range. Water capacity is about standard, and she does have um, nice water makers on board as well. So she's here in, in Fort Lauderdale. So if you'd like to get on board, then from the website over on the right hand side, click on those daily yacht tour buttons. Now the write up is is fairly brief. It, it, goes into a few descriptions here about um, exactly what's fitted, uh, what's on board as far as entertainment systems are concerned. It uh, walks you through the interior of the boat, mentions the cherry wood finish to the cabinetry. Now, I won't pull off every point as always, get that yacht pack and then you can read through this in your own time. It does uh, work quite nicely it just bullet points things here so it's the mtu engines 3200 hours as we saw has two onan 45 kilowatt generators the uh, naiad track stabilizers that they have on board sea recovery water makers 1500 gallons per day which is great um, capacity for for this size boat headhunter fresh water and sewage treatment systems the communication system they have the uh, fleet 33 on there that's not something that you'll want to run um, internet on because it does get so expensive what uh, some people do is they do one download a day just to sort of a um, an outlook file just to get uh, get bulk emails once a once a day um, the furunos that they have as far as the um, the navigation equipment they have the um, north star uh, gps's chart plotters everything that you would expect to see on on a boat of this size is here they haven't sort of scrimped or saved anywhere and you can see all the flat screen tv details the um the the ctel sorry ctel uh, satellite tv and the um 
LCD TVs and the DVD players that are in each cabin. Um, port and starboard wing stations here that they have on board, which is great if you're um, looking to potentially do some driving of the boat uh, yourself as, as an owner. Um, and they have things like CCTV and uh, security cameras around as well. So that's it. I won't go any further into the details of the boat. Get that yacht pack. Um, it is available, ready to go, and we send it off to you right away. Now we have the two other boats that we reviewed today. The links for those are just down below this screen. So click around, get yourselves onto the onto the uh, website as well. Have a search around some of the archive. We group the boats together within size ranges, so you can click through that and, and get a pretty good idea of some of the uh, best buys that are on the market right now. So that's it for today. Um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the other reviews.